Hi everyone, Leslie here again. I'm back. You will like this next video. I fell in love with the way they look and they're so cute. But I'm gonna show you how to make this little um uh, stock pot crock pot. No, that's not a crock pot. It's a little stock pot made out of aluminum cans. I hope you like them. I hope you enjoy them. Remember, if you have any comments, any questions, don't be shy. Please let me know what you think. Please uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. That helps me kind of know what is it that you like, what is it that I want to keep adding to the channel. It gives me great joy to know you like it. If you really, 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 really enjoy this video, please let me know so I can make some more crafting ideas and tips with aluminum cans. Only you guys can actually give me the feedback and let me know, yeah, this is awesome, or you know what? It sucks. Crafting is life, recycling is life, so let's get started, thanks. Okay, here are just a few of the supplies you will need for this project. I will have a complete list in the info box right underneath this video. We're going to start out by cutting the top off the can like this. This is the easiest and fastest way to do it. But if you don't have a can opener or you can't find one, you can do it this way. This way you can just sand the very top of the can. And it does take a little bit of elbow grease, but it does get the job done. As you can see, pop, it comes off. The third way you can do this is the least, it's a little more labor intensive I want to say on your hand, but it also gets the job done. Now we're going to cut our can in half. Trim the raw edges so that you don't cut yourself. And this is where you decide the length of the little pot. So you, once you decide how tall you want your uh, little mini pot, cut the can to the size you want. Trim off any uh, uneven edges and now you're done with that part. Now the bottom half of the pot has to be slightly shorter than the top and that's because we're going to squeeze it into the top part. In order to do this we're going to need to cut two little slits on opposite sides of the can and they don't have to go all the way to the bottom like in, uh, what I'm showing right here. That's because I made it too short. So I had to cut another bottom piece so that I can fit it nicely into the top piece. So uh, you still have to cut the little slits and then you slide it into the top part like this. Time to work on the lid of our little stock pot. Take the top half of another can, cut with a pair of scissors, and just slide off the aluminum siding. It is surprisingly easy. Now with the bottom half of another can, we're going to cut out the little dome piece on the inside of the can. Make sure it fits smoothly inside the top of the lid. Now the next part is totally optional. You don't have to do this, but I like to smooth out the edges. Once you're done with this, it's time to paint. Paint the little dome piece. I gave it two coats. Let it dry in between coats. And the bottom piece. Now we are ready to assemble our lid. See that little hole right there? You can do this or accomplish it by getting a pair of pliers and just pulling out the little circular piece that holds a tab in. It's super easy, aluminum, super soft, and it should look something like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to hold the pieces together. You can eyeball this and just make a little hold with a screwdriver. Now get your pony bead and screw on the top part of the dome. Once you're halfway through, you can add the bottom part of the lid, like so. It doesn't have to be super tight. Now it's time to add the nut. You could just hold it with your finger and finish tightening. And you're done with your lid. Now we're going to start with the handles. Take two tabs and fold them in half like this. Decide where you want the handles to be. Now make a hole so that we can attach our handles. We are going to use a pony bead to keep the tab in place. 
If you have a screw that's got a large enough head, you don't need a washer or a bead like I'm using. You can just attach it directly. But since I'm using smaller screws, I am going to use a pony bead to not only give it a little more color and make it look like it's a double handle, it also holds the tab in place. Screw it in like so, add the nut, and it should look something like this. Now we can decorate. I added some flowers and I also added some little polka dots on top in the lid. We are done and this is what the little pot looked like at the end and here are some of the other ones I've made. I have one that's uh, as is, I didn't paint or anything. Then I have one with a crackling effect and a golden one that I'm going to use for a Halloween uh, little project I'm working on. I hope you like this project. Please let me know. Leave me a comment, a thumbs up. Please subscribe and share my video because I think this is an awesome way to recycle cans. And if you have any to show me, please send them to my email or Instagram or Facebook. I would love to see them. Till next time. Thank you guys.